In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best defenses for defending bunch formations, really any meta formation that you're going to face right now in Madden 23. And it comes to us out of the nickel 3-3 cub. Now, you can apply this concept to several different formations, but I like it out of the nickel 3-3 cub because of the fact that it has split safety uh, split safety coverages. And so we're going to show you one of my favorite coverages, as I said, right now for bunch. And uh, to do this, what we're going to do is we're just going to sub in safeties at the linebacker position. I'm in the 46 playbook. Now, if you're watching this and you want to get my full nickel 3-3 cub defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for the Patreon page, and it gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below. All right, so we're going to be taking a look here at uh, some pretty decent coverage defense for a bunch. Really any trip set I find this is pretty decent for. Um, and again, it's more conceptual than anything. But I do think 3-3 is the best uh, defense to run this out of because of the fact that the nickel 3-3 Cub uh, has two high safeties that you can kind of build the defense around. So we're just going to come out and we're going to audible over to the Mike Blitz 0. This is our main defense. Um, and from here, we can send a lot of pressure at the opponent. What you'll see right here is this blitz from last year. There's a couple little nuanced things that you have to do to get it to work in Madden 23, which we teach you how to do that in the ebook. Uh, but this is a really, really good defense that will really take advantage of the fact that your opponent can't really block their tight end to pick this pressure up. And their running back is very inconsistent. There's some ways that you can actually make it to where he almost can never uh, pick up this blitz. So if you want to check that out again, that's in the ebook um, in the Patreon. But I want to show you this coverage defense that I really like from this formation, and that is this. So whenever we're defending bunch, uh, one of the things you got to worry about is the snap throw of the running back. So the way that we're going we're gonna to combat that is we're going to man up the linebacker that is over the top of the running back onto the running back. And then you also got to worry about the snap throw to the tight end. So the way we're going to combat that is we're going to man up the linebacker on the tight end, as you can see right here. So that's what we have to kind of the foundation, if you will, of this. And then we're going to utilize these two high safeties to be able to get really, really good coverage. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the both safeties and man them up on the outside receivers. And we're going to put those outside defenders in outside thirds, as you can see right here. From there, all we're going to do is crash our line out to create some really effective um, you know, sheds. And what you're going to notice here is it's actually really hard to flood these zones because now you have those thirds that are going to kind of sit in key spots against the defense. Another route that is really popular in Madden 23 is the C route. Well, these outside thirds will do a really good job um, against the C route to the left side. They'll also do, uh, I'll show you that out of this corner strike play. You'll see here again, this uh, outside third is going to just absolutely bracket the C route really, really, really well. So essentially what you have to worry about whenever you're running this is really the middle of the field. That's the only thing that's really open. Uh, the outside is pretty well taken care of uh, with this defense. Another thing you might want to consider doing is shading uh, outside. But then what's going to happen is they're going to try to throw over the middle. So you're the user in the middle of the field, and you're going to be robbing right in the middle looking for any kind of post from the outside bunch receiver or the inside bunch receiver. But the other benefit that you have with this coverage defense is the fact that your safeties already have inside leverage uh, to be able to handle a lot of these uh, of these style of routes. So for example, let's say they give you a route combination, you know, that looks something like this. You're going to notice here again, I'm going to be in the middle of the field and you see how effective this coverage defense really is. So you're going to be able to take away a lot of what Bunch has to offer. Now, another thing that we can do to kind of get at some basic pressure uh, while keeping the same basic look would be to do something like this. Now, we're going to have to use the running back, but we can kind of adjust our coverage just like this. Now, if that running back goes out, we're going to go to him, but you'll see we'll get that quick pressure. A lot of stuff off rip is going to be covered. The other thing that's going to happen, as I said in the intro, is if they do, for whatever reason, think that they can block their running back against you, um, typically you're going to have a pretty easy uh, sack with this defense with the way we set this up. As you can see him loop around, and you're able to get that pressure. And again, it's really hard to beat this coverage if you're mixing in the coverage 
and you're mixing in the pressure. That's the most important tip uh, about this. You want it to look exactly the same, but from this defense here, we can be in a lot of different types of coverages that are going to be advantageous to us. As you can see right here, um, you know, really hard to flood the outside. They basically have to flood you in the middle, and from my personal experience, it's actually really, really difficult uh, in this year's game. Another thing that you can do is you don't really have to do any shading, and the reason why is because the natural progression of the coverage, this coverage will naturally shade itself to the inside of the field. So what you'll see is if they try to run these posts and stuff, you're going to have a lot of help over in the middle and again your user responsibility is to basically be the middle third so essentially the player kind of practically speaking um, is going to play and feel and look like this right here this is kind of the idea uh, of what we're trying to accomplish as you can see i'm going to be drafting uh, drifting back into the middle whether it be mid read um, looking for anything over the middle and the importance for this is if they were to run something like this verticals play because now I've got double teams all over the field, and it's going to be much, much more difficult to ag me down the field as well. This is becoming one of my favorite coverages because it disguises our pressure and our coverage and looks identical. It's from the same exact play. I think in Madden 23, it's important that you make your pressure and your coverage defense look identical if possible. So as you can see here, this looks like pressure. Now they do some extra pass protection and try picks up. Uh-oh, now that we're in coverage, and you see how if the running back does block, you have this little spy over the middle of the field that will help with anything short, and then you're going to be over robbing the deep middle of the field. If you want to learn more about this defense, I believe that 3-3 Cub is very versatile. Make sure you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up if you want to sign up for that. The link is in the description down below. Uh, and again, that gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Got a brand new ebook coming out this week. Really excited about it. Uh, we actually dropped another one earlier this week, making it our 16th ebook of the year. So if you want to get access to all of those guides, make sure that you're in our Patreon. Head down to the description below and click the link if you guys want to go sign up. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you at the Patreon page.